Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my September empties. So I have just a very little box. Little box, not too much stuff. Um, so I'm basically going to go through my beauty trash, the things that I have finished up in the last month. Um, and let you know what I thought about them. So I'm going to start with this guy. Uh, Wow, okay, very good. Uh, this is the New York Big Apple Toddy candle from Bath and Body Works. Um, I had some trouble with this one. I had some, I had some serious burning trouble. Um, I found that, I don't know what went wrong with this one, but uh, whenever I would burn it, the wicks were really, really short and I could never get a good burn. Often I'd burn it for a while and then it would just extinguish itself because there was not enough wick and too much wax, essentially. Um, so it took me quite a while to get through it, but I really... Oh my goodness, excuse me. Um, I, <laughs> that was a coffee burp. Uh, I really, like, focused on this because... You know, once I worked out, it was there was something not quite right about its burning. Um, I was like, I, I got, I got to finish it. Um, I do like this scent. I really enjoyed this candle. I think uh, this one has a really good um, scent throw, which is fantastic. Um, not all of the Bath and Body Works candles have fabulous scent throw. Uh, but this one I liked and I would consider buying it again, but I got a lot of candles. So I'm sort of on a uh, self-imposed ban from buying Bath & Body Works things this holiday season. Probably should have put that in my do not buy that video for the holiday season. Um, but yeah, I, I love the scent of that one. I've got some lashes here. <laughs> Always seem to have some fucking lashes. Uh, you can tell I'm trying to power through my lashes this year. So I had a pair that uh, were off YesStyle. These are the Amo uh, false lashes. Mm, just says one size. I don't know. I don't know which ones they were. I don't even remember. Um, and I have the Ardell uh, Baby Demi Wispies. I think think I think I still have these no I do not uh, which means they didn't stand the test of time and I'm pretty sure I don't have these either because uh, yeah so I'm just mm, look I'm really not in the need of buying false lashes at the moment so I wouldn't buy any of them at this point. Um, I have a Saw Palmetto hair shampoo. This is from iHerb. I had a whole bunch of these. Um, and I quite, I actually quite like this shampoo. It lasted forever. It's nice and gentle on the hair. It's meant to help like rejuvenate hair growth. Um, look, I'd be lying if I said that it helped hair growth because I, I don't I don't think it did I just thought it was a nice gentle shampoo there we go Sasha pure this is the healing shampoo um, I really like this this is a nice nourishing but effective shampoo uh, they also have a it's like a I think it's considered a hair mask which I use as like the con standard conditioning step and that's really beautiful and rich good if you've got dry hair I quite like this um, I would I, I know I've got one more of these sachets um, in the shampoo and also in the conditioner um, and I would probably consider buying these if I was going away for like a week or something and I needed something that's not going to take up too much space in my luggage um, but is effective and I know I can rely on it. I like the formula. They're very good. I believe you can also buy these in like proper full-size bottles. I have some little sample sizes of things here. Oh gosh, I've done well. Uh, this is the Innisfree Jeju Orchid Enrich Cream. Uh, this is a moisturizer, but unfortunately it does break me out. It's too rich for me. I used it on my hands and feet and I loved it. I just popped it beside my bed um, and went through it that way. It actually lasted me a really long time because it is beautiful and rich um, and nice and hydrating. So I didn't mind it, but it's not something I would 
buy again. Uh, Dr. Roebuck's face. So this is a moisturizer. It's supposed to help rehydrate, rehydrate the skin and reduce wrinkles. Again, this broke me out. Um, <laughs> wasn't good um, and I used it on my hands and feet again so that's usually what I do with these little samples that break me out I just put them beside my bed use them on my hands and feet before I go to sleep and slowly I make my way through them uh, aromatherapy associates support lavender and peppermint bath and shower oil I really liked this I used it in the shower and I used it as like my last step so I would wash my body um, if I wanted to exfoliate I would do that and then I would rub some of this over my body and like the heat and the steam of the shower gives you like this aromatherapy sort of um, experience. Now it does contain lavender um, and lavender can trigger migraines in me sometimes but I didn't actually have a problem with this which was really nice um, and it does contain peppermint oil so don't get it near your sensitive bits. You've been warned. Nooks Hill Prodigies Oil. Um, I ended up really liking this. This was in my project pan and um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. It was nice. I've, I've never really been an oil on the body kind of person. And I think that's simply because, you know, I've used a lot in the like past past, like long time past. And they're just so slick and greasy and thick and heavy and kind of ugh. Um, but this is not like that. This is one of those sort of dry oils where it's light on the skin. It doesn't feel excessively slick or oily. I quite liked it. I think the only thing I dislike is like the packaging. For me, like it's kind of uh, cumbersome to be like spraying it on your body. Um, maybe because I've got little hands and just like the sort of squareness of the packaging makes it a little bit hard to hold. Um, so, you know, packaging, not my favorite, but I found the best way to use it was to just spray it into my palms and then rub it over my body. Um, but I like what's inside. I would also probably consider buying that if I was going through some dry skin woes because I didn't mind it. Oh, actually, I don't know, maybe the packaging would turn me off too much I don't know I don't know it's a maybe it's a maybe um something that I'm getting rid of is the Vera Wang princess perfume this was also in my project pan I'm just giving up on it I'm over it I'm over it I got sick while I was trying to use this and now the scent I associate it with being sick having the flu and it wasn't it was the flu flu it wasn't pleasant uh there was aches and pains and nausea and blah, it wasn't good um but I was kind of like, I'm an adult and I need to power through this. Uh, so I was, you know, getting up and doing my shit and putting on perfume and stuff like that. And now I associate this with feeling terrible. So I can smell it now. It's not, I, I can't do it anymore. It's got to go. It's got to go. I have a blackhead nose pore strip thing. This is from Tosawong. Uh, these ones are really good. They're really good. They're really like... <laughs> they're really grippy um I quite like these I've I have like I don't know maybe two or three boxes of different nose pore strips um in my stash and I was like I should try them out and like declutter the ones I don't like so I tried one from Tusa Wong first and I was like not bad not bad at all um I'm sort of going through a skin thing that means I might not be able to use these anymore so maybe I'll pass them on to friends um but I figured I'd let you guys know that the Tosa Wong ones are quite good okay I have um things here so some of these are finished some are not uh let's start with the finished things Ulta Beauty Watermelon Slushy Scrub. So this is a lip scrub. I had it in my project pan. I used it in the shower. I enjoyed it very much. I love the flavor. Now we don't have Ulta in Australia. This was gifted, um, but I enjoyed it. So there we go. Uh, the, uh, what you called? What you called? Oh my God, I can't even. Look, this is a, an eye pencil from Flormar. It is uh, in a metallic copper shade. This was also in my project pan. 
and I had quite a bit of this left and I didn't think that I'd be able to finish it based on my progress throughout this year I thought I'm going to be using it until next year for sure but I used it early in the month and I noticed that the uh, pigmentation on it wasn't lasting as long as it usually did and that made me go all right this is on its way out I've either got to use it or lose it so I started using it as an eyeshadow base and I went through it really quickly that way um, I'm glad that I focused on this because I really enjoyed it as a product um, but I just can't you know I can't hold on to things that are going bad so I got through it um, Flora I don't think is available in Australia there used to be a uh, like kiosk stall in a um, shopping complex in Sydney I don't know if it's there anymore uh, some more empties Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lip Liner in Exhilarated. I really liked this. The formula is beautiful. It's creamy, it's opaque, it's soft, but long lasting. And it's a beautiful, like, sort of neutrally, um, you know, little bit of pink, little bit of brown, nude, lovely lip liner. Um, I don't think they make these anymore. I think the Marvelous Moxie line is done and dusted with Bare Minerals. Tells you how old it is and why I had to pan it. Um, but I did really enjoy it. Something else that I loved, like I fucking loved this. This is from Sigma. It is the Fill and Blend Brow Pencil in the shade Light. Oh! I loved this so it's a super fine brow pencil I used it to the point where like it's it's dead dead I was doing one of those ones um, and it has a little mini spoolie on the end uh, I went through this really quickly it probably only took me like three maybe four months to use it um, and I was using it in like combination with another brow product so a brow product that would do the bulk of the work and then this guy to go in and like fill in little sparse areas and you know refine everything loved the formula of this gorgeous I want more of them and my last thing that's empty empty is the Bieber last pen eyeliner in the shade 01 black so this is a pen liner not a felt tip or brush tip pen liner um, I did like this but I found that the hairs sort of let's see if I can show you the hairs oh, it looks pretty pointy there but the hairs at the very very tip seem to sort of flatten out and uh, they're not as precise as they were when I first got it um, and that happened maybe a month in to using it and I'd say I got maybe three or four months of use out of it the formula is black it lasted a long time like on the actual eye all that stuff is fine um, but I don't think I would buy another one of these because of that brush tip I want my brush tip to stay nice and pointy and razor sharp until the end of its days thousand hour lash glue I really like this you can see there's still product in there but I've been using it for a long time and it's gotten sort of thick and uh, a little bit goopy so whenever I apply it now I feel like I'm applying too much glue it's just a little bit overkill um, that's pretty standard for lash glues like if you use them really regularly they're very slowly starting to mix with air which means they start to like dry out and get thicker and it's a thing but I really enjoyed this lash glue I thought it was very very effective um, and I would I would totally buy that again if I needed lash glue no problems at all uh, the Essence Super Curl Volume Mascara I really like this mascara I think this has a lot of punch to it um, I know a lot of people really love Essence mascaras because they are so affordable and a lot of them are quite good. Um, now my issue with this is, or the reason I'm getting rid of it is because I think it's just, you know, beyond. It's beyond its use by date. Um, I noticed that it was starting to flake throughout the day so I was getting little black spots sort of down here on my cheeks and also it was transferring up to my brow bone and uh, under my eyes so 
usually when that happens I just consider it like it's done the mascara is old and it needs to go so that's why this one is going but I really did enjoy the formula and my last item is this guy bare minerals marvelous moxie lip gloss in the shade show off uh, this one is also you know old it's as old as this one I got them in a set together um, now <laughs> The reason I am getting rid of this, it was in my project pan. I love this lip gloss. It's a fabulous lip gloss and I was having no issues using it. Uh, but I went and visited some friends on the weekend and they have toddlers and um, I was putting some lip gloss on and one of the kids spotted me and they were like, I want lip gloss. Uh, and I was like, mum, dad, can I? And that was no problem. So I popped a little bit of lip gloss on them and uh, very quickly wiped it off. And then they wanted to apply the lip gloss themselves. And I'm not about to um, upset a child to the point where they're going to have like a, a tantrum because they want to apply lip gloss. So I let the child apply the lip gloss. And of course, the wand went straight in the mouth and uh, we all had a good laugh about it. Now, <laughs> It means it's tainted and I'm not going to use it uh, on my lips if, if you've got if you've got mouth slobber in your lip gloss uh, it, it's probably best to let it go um, but you know what it was dedicated to a cause we all had a good laugh and there was joy had so there we go Alright guys, that's it for me today. Feel free to let me know down in the comments about something that you finished up this month. Maybe you're very proud that you finished something up. Or maybe you decluttered something that you just could not deal with anymore. If you did, I'm proud of you. Because sometimes letting go of things is the hardest part. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.